So dirt delivery has shown up. They're getting a position. I got two trucks going at once. We got this guy. We're gonna come right on over in this way area and dump. He's gonna come over here and dump. Say, so, how much do you think is gonna go back? Good. Uh, how much do you think is gonna roll backwards? Uh, you'll get some going back there. I just don't want to have it too high up on the backside. No, I won't do that. It won't do that. Okay. Okay, cool. That should be good then. So pull forward just a tad. Just a tad, yeah. Look at that. That's some good shell right there. Looks like I got two loads of shale. Coming down here to the next uh, little creek that we've got over by our house. Showing Ricky Noel the place. What's going on? Fairway Farms, if you haven't heard of them. Yep. And this road is definitely jacked up a lot more than uh, normal. But we're enjoying our time. You came out here on the weekend, Father's Day. Having some fun for sure. Um, uh, melting, melting the sun fat off with this heat. For sure. Right? Yeah. Oh, you'll you'll get skinny out here. <laughs> you can't. I can't keep weight on. That's humidity and heat. It's like wow. You guys know this area already. I'm really curious if it's flooded out really bad still up here. We're gonna find out. Stay tuned. Well, can't get to the lake this way. It's still uh, flooded like no tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, the lake is about, uh, the road keeps on going for another four miles. And yeah. That's wild. There's no way of getting across that. So much water. This is where all the catfish was at. It is flooded. Oh, dude. Man, these mosquitoes. They're real, dude. If you're quiet, you can hear the high pitch from all their wings. Do you hear it? It's nuts. Oh my gosh. I'm getting eaten up, dude. I'm getting eaten up. Getting eaten up. They're all over your neck. Dude, I'm getting eaten up right now. <laughs> Get off me. Bro, there's like, look all at right. this, look at it right here. There's like hundreds. Dude, let's get moving before they, oh my gosh. Let's get out of here. They're everywhere, dude. Oh man, all right. I need one of those bee suits. <laughs> it was crazy, you could hear the, all of the mosquitoes flying around you. Oh it's like this, like, like, like a machine, like, <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, dude, that was a lot. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'm going to take you a different way out of here. little tour of the 41.36 <laughs> and what's around <laughs> you've got to be kidding me guys it's raining what the heck 
Ricky, it's raining. It feels good. It does feel good, feels but good. I'm, I'm thinking about the holes over there. We can go fill them in real quick. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Grilling us some burgers. Them look like them fancy Walmart burgers. Yeah. Them hockey, hockey pucks. Quick and easy. Get it. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to our channel. How are you guys doing today? Well, check it out. We got our good friend Ricky with Narrowway Farms hanging out over What's here. Up? What's up? Spend the weekend with us. Yep, hot, sweaty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm loving, <laughs> loving the you know the fellowship, and I'm loving the view of oh, yeah. the mountain. Today is actually Sunday. It's Father's Day. Yeah. Uh, we got a lot of stuff we're gonna be doing over here, um, mm -hmm. and then we got some more fellowshipping to do this afternoon. Yep. So, Gary, what is the master plan for today? We've got to uh, finish up the drain over here for the sump pump on the, uh, I guess that would be the right side if you're looking out the basement. Okay. Or the left side if you're looking at the basement. But uh, the right side, I've already uh, sort of done did that. Oh. <laughs> I didn't record anything because uh, I just wanted to get it done. And uh, it was interesting. And I had to learn all the different things. And I was like, well... I just want to focus and pay attention and try to figure out what I'm going to be doing and how it's going to be done. So now that I've got that, I can mimic it over there. Let's walk over and show them what we got going on over here. Yeah. Um, we are not installing the sump pump today. He's just getting everything prepped and ready. So that way when we are installing it, bing, bang, boom, done. Um, so let's let's show everybody. Let's, uh, let's go see what I did. Yeah. <laughs> let's go see what I did. All right. We wanted to stop and take a second to say thank you so much to the folks over at Husk Knife for sponsoring today's video. Check this out. Introducing the Husk Knife, the ultimate cooking knife. Made from high quality Japanese stainless steel, this knife features a hygienic rustic style handle and a 38 degree blade edge that ensures extreme sharpness. Husk knives come out of the box razor sharp and they'll stay that way for years. The curved blade with the grip hole enables better precision and handling to make chopping and cutting action easy. Each and every detail has been checked and taken into account, providing the best quality Japanese inspired knives. All husk knives are extremely sharp. They are perfectly balanced, which makes it comfortable to hold the knives. It's light, durable, and sturdy. A great knife can really be a game changer to your daily meal prep. Rather than buying a few cheap knives that are going to rust and dull easily, get yourself a professional quality knife for all of your needs. Right now, for all of our viewers, Husk is running a 70% discount on their authentic Japanese-inspired knives. You can test the Husk knife with a 30-day money-back guarantee. This deal won't last long, so make sure to check it out by clicking in the special link in the video description and the pinned comment below. So you guys, we have used this Husk knife for two months. I have chopped, I don't know how many things with it, but I've used it in so many different ways and it is still sharper than sharp. It's definitely become our kitchen favorite knife. Um, I definitely grab it first before I grab anything else. Mm -hmm. Definitely really like the Husk knife. So I wanna send a big shout out, huge thank you to the folks over at Husk for sending us this awesome knife that we got to try. And also for sponsoring today's video, giving us a little bit of jing in our jang so we can continue on the build process. So again, huge shout out and thank you guys. Y'all are amazing. If you guys are wanting to look into one of those, the link is down in the description. We also have a pinned comment for it. If you're not interested in that, no worries. Back to your video. So basically you have to have a basin for the sump pump to sit in, as well as make it to where you can actually have it below the foundation and collect water in a basin and everything from the French drain and the pipe and everything like that. Once you get the water in there, the sump pump will be able to pump it out. That's what this pipe is for and everything. I've got to still get all the connections and everything else, but I made it long enough to where I can cut it in here and do what I need to to actually get the sump pump installed later on. But the first thing is getting all this figured out so you can bury it and everything else. Inside of here, I got to put rock and everything so that way it's got a good drainage spot and it's not going to just collect a lot of uh, dirt and soot and everything. Then you'll have dirt and soot stuck in the pipe that's draining everything. So that's never a fun thing. But I've got this for the sump pump. This right here is for an overflow, um, just in case if it does say, fill up this pipe up to this pipe, or this basin <laughs> up to this pipe, uh, then it'll actually drain out from this main going out. So, and that was fun. That was the longer stretch 
of the drain wise versus the other side. It's just like a little, whoop, there it is. <laughs> so I was like, I want to get this uh, harder one done and figured out. And uh, yeah, I've got the French drain line also into here. So once we go to backfill, I got to still do the whole thing where I pull this up and pull up this cloth up to here, get this all filled up with rock, put a little bit more fabric here, burrito it, glue it all together. Yeah, and that will finish off the basin or the French drain area right here. Yeah. And then we could put in the sump pump. Yep. But it was a lot of interesting things, especially trying to cut into this. That was interesting. Yeah, that looks very interesting. So right here, I've got it coming in for the sump pump. It's coming into this, which is a three, uh, three to three uh, Y pipe right here. And then that will make it to where it just drains right on out from there. And I actually did check to see if this drain was actually draining out and it is draining. So yep. we've got good fall and everything else like that. And uh, I'll be able to bury this guy and get it ready. So it goes all the way from here. It goes down and around. <laughs> over here next to where the garage is. And then it comes over. And around. And over. And off into the forest she goes. Yep, we're going to have to bury this guy into the rocks a little bit and pull it over, but we can do that later on. We don't need the tractor for that. This rock is pretty loose. Yeah, <laughs> and we don't need to do that uh, before we can get into the basement. No. So it's so. not a, a huge, like, have to happen right this no. second. And we could even leave it like that and then just, when we do get more rock for everything else, we can bury it later on. But it's we'll, not a necessity. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. Yep. Because we can put a log down there, too, and hide it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We got some ideas for that aspect, but yep. it's neither here nor there. It don't really, uh, as a necessity, like Melanie said, we don't need it done for moving into the basement. We just needed a drain at least done so we can get the sump pump in and we're not having any water. Static pressure being pushed onto the back side of the basement. Yep. Oh. So basically what you're going to do today is mimic this, but over off on that side over there. Gary's going to get on that work. We're going to give you Gary vision. And uh, me and Ricky are going to be squirreling it up. You ready yep. to be a gopher and a squirrel? Oh, I'm ready. All right. Put me to work. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's start this day. This side just a little bit more. Yeah, that side right there, that wall. Yeah. Just trying to get straight down. Let's see what that does. What I gotta do right now, I got this all dug out a little bit more where I couldn't with the backhoe and now it's sitting where I want it to be so I can get it buried. These things are gonna be buried pretty much to the right there. That gives it to a point where 
there's nothing going to be dropping in here and I'll get a lid and whatnot that I can put on top of it. But for now, we just got to set everything up and get it ready for all the drains, the uh, actual French drain going into it and actually the sump pump drain going into the drain to get out. Yeah, I'm a little, uh, there's a lot of little parts, um, but it's going to work. It's uh, going to move actually really quick today. I'm really happy and I've got all my pieces already right here. I'm only gonna have to cut a little bit because it's like literally the exact amount. Oh, it's hot, you guys. But I got it in. So we got this basin like I was showing you before. We've got the French drain going into the basin. We've got the sump pump pipe. Once I get the sump pump installed to be able to get in there, as well as I got a drain pipe going in. So that's all there. And then this is all connected. It's coming all the way over here. And we'll drain out into the forest. So it makes it really, really nice. And we'll be able to get her going right there. Well, that was a lot of work. Yeah. It, it looks rough. so good now, though. Man, Gary, you yeah. killed it over there with all that piping. Man, you guys killed it over here with all this, man. <laughs> thank you, thank Look you. Look at that. Like, that's dang. All Ricky, right. you are a beast. Thanks. Yes. It's uh, hard work, though. It uh, is. And I enjoy it. It's, it's hard work. You Glad to help. Glad definitely to help. putting some in out yeah. here. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate You're welcome. you. You're welcome. So the next step that we got to do, um, Gary's obviously got all that pipe laid over there. We got yeah. all this raked out and cleaned up so that way uh, we can plant some more <laughs> grass seed over <laughs> here and get some grass going in that area that was all dug up and whatnot. But we actually got to get Gary on the tractor. I've got to get all the French drain stuff finished up and ready for backfill. All right. So And then I can start backfilling some stuff all right so are you gonna need our assistance for that yes because i think need. after we move this trampoline we're kind of just sitting sitting in the wind yeah waiting for you awesome because right. i'm gonna need some help so got you bro sweet all let's right. get this going let's do it let's get it let's get her
guys. Yeah. Yeah, we killed it. We guys. killed it. That was rough. That was pretty rough. So, how'd you like uh, working out here on the 41.36? You know, I loved it. I enjoyed every bit of it. Yeah. But it, it's not easy. Not no. easy at all. <laughs> but it's a blast. I learned a lot. Uh, and, you know, the conversations and stuff. Love it. Beautiful view. Yeah. yeah. And today's not bad. Today no. is the best day for sure. Oh, I'm yeah. so happy that we <laughs> saved all this work for today because yesterday we were sitting down like over in Camp Life, just chilling, hanging out, talking, visiting, whatever. And we were in the shade and all of us were just dripping because it was so wet and so We're humid bad. yesterday. You could cut the air. Today, yeah, it's hot, but it wasn't, no, oh, yesterday was just horrible. Yeah. So we um, we picked the best day to get it done. But yeah, guys, we uh, we got so much done today. Uh, very thankful to Ricky with Narrowway yes. Farms. I'm going to put a link right there. Go over to his channel, send him some love. Uh, he hasn't posted a video in quite yeah, a while. Uh, Go yeah. over there and start <laughs> hammering this guy. Where's my video? Where's my video? But at the very least, uh, if you guys don't want to do that, that's fine. But at the very least, go over there and tell him thank you for helping us out today because it was seriously a huge, unexpected blessing. Um, I'm very happy that you happened yes. to be in the area. I'm, I was, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. It's, it's been lovely every second. Yeah. 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 And so. you got to spend Father's Day with Gary. Yep. Yeah. Good you, food, too, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's... That's even a... Yeah. Well, we got yeah. some more coming up for you. We got some yeah. more good food. I'm actually going to be cooking for everybody today. Um, I'm going to be making some of those pork steaks from the Robertson's Belly Acres pork meat, uh, okay. asparagus, and potatoes and buns. So you guys are going to be eating good tonight. Yeah. Sounds good to me I can't right wait. There. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to show you guys everything that we got done today real quick, and then uh, we're going to start hanging out and relaxing. So. Heck yes. Let's check this out. We got uh, all of this right here, me and Ricky raked away <laughs> yeah it's all flat and stuff now and hopefully we can get some grass growing there well, uh, the good thing is is we had all sorts of concrete dust and all sorts of other stuff you know buried in and mixed in right here and now i've just completely refreshed the dirt oh yeah it's gone digging everything up and you guys just leveled it out perfectly and, and we got all the nasty rocks out of here well there was like six buckets of rocks oh my gosh yes <laughs> yeah and, and it, it looks like not much work but it's I a mean, lot <laughs> that wheelbarrow is heavy it is and right? uh you know picking up the rocks in the hottest part of the day yeah yeah it was it was brutal but you know it wasn't as hard as the moving that shell that yeah, was, that was that was that was something interesting. Else. <laughs> <laughs> so all that shell, come on over here, Gary, and let everybody know what uh what's going on. I know they saw you running the pipe, and we talked about it a little bit earlier, but let's show everybody. Pipe's gone. It's buried. Yeah, pipe's gone. It's buried. Just awesome. Now we've got our French drain basins for our sump pump, and we'll be able to uh, pump that water out of there and drain it out. Yeah. And. Yeah, the only trenches now that we've got to do is electrical. And it's literally backfilling because all the French trains are done and ready. You guys killed it and helped me out tremendously. And we finished out the French trains. They're and done. Pretty much buried on those where the sump pump basin is. Which is super awesome. Now we just got to install, a, freaking rock, man. install the sump pump and that's it. But all the ground is level. We don't have anything really left to mess with on that now if you'll notice right over here down yonder a piece we have a big old pile of shell it's right there it's all on the other side of the basement too yep. and um, we're actually going to be using that shell to completely backfill in all of this but gary's going to be working with some of that electricity first before we do that so that's what's basically going to be coming up next it's going to be electricity and then the sump backfill. pumps and backfill Oh. Yeah. Electricity, trenches, and then we get to backfill everything. Woohoo! Everything, everything, everything. Home stretch. And we can start putting on all the uh, floor, uh, subfloor and everything, and start getting those anchored down and everything done, and we can start working on the inside of the basement. And then we're going to be inside working. I'm happy about that, yeah. man. Woo! I'm so excited. Summer. It'll be so Guys, much cooler. Dude, yes. we're so, like, we are so close now. It's like right there. It's right there. It's right there. It's awesome. Uh, well, that's space. Yes. Privacy. Oh. Right? Not being in the tiny trailer <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Uh, I don't know if we would have been able to get all this done without a uh, old Ricky here. Yeah. I don't think that would have happened. Nope. We're so close to the finale now. We are. We're, we're so right close. There. We have just like the tiniest list of things left to do. And then we're working on the inside. Yes. 
I can't wait. Oh, that pool is calling my name. Me too.